Hi guys, welcome back to the Bravo Rebuild and today I'm going to show you how to remove the front badge and customise and paint it to how you like it or to however you want to just customise your badge really. So first things first, um, my badge is already starting to fall off on its own accord um, but normally what you want to get is just like a normal you know, flathead screwdriver like that and you just want to normally put it in one of the corners or something like that and wedge it in there and then just sort of slowly peel it back. You don't want to be too hard because um, obviously you will damage the chrome around the edge or you might chip the plastic off of this. Um, but as mine's like literally already fallen off, I can literally just pick it up like that and it just comes straight off in a separate piece. Um, then you obviously have just this horrible sticky mess left over. Um, we won't bother with that, we won't worry about that at all. Um, so yeah, first things first, obviously you want to get this off. Um, and then next I'll show you what else you have to do to get rid of like the leftover red or if you want to remove the silver as well. So, so the next thing you guys are going to want to do is try and just wash it. So you just, you know, I've just got a bucket of old water there from where I cleaned the car. Um, and you just want to clean it. Um, and from where my red paint is so, uh, flaky on the back, um, I don't know if you can see how you know how much it just flakes off you know in little bits um, I'm gonna try and get a toothbrush that I've got in there and just try and scrape this off with the toothbrush while I'm scrubbing it um, sometimes that'll be enough to scrape it off sometimes it won't um, sometimes you have to use like nail varnish remover just to get rid of um, the red paint and you can see that there's some like little lines going through it which um, is obviously on the red paint itself um, so if you want to like remove that completely, you just might have to get a little bit of nail varnish remover and just tap that on there and just rub it in um, to remove all of those little markings. And it can get rid of the silver paint as well. Whereas I've noticed that with the toothbrush, it's strong enough to get rid of the red, but not strong enough to get rid of the silver. Um, but I'm leaving the silver on there anyway, so that's not too much of a bother for me. But for you guys, you might want to um, use some nail varnish remover just to remove all the all of the paint altogether, really. Um, but do not leave it to soak, because if you leave it to soak, it will just make the plastic go all cloudy and then it's ruined your badge. So yeah, as we move. Right, so as you guys can see, I've now scrubbed it with the toothbrush and got rid of all the old red. Um, I had to get my screwdriver on this part of the A just to sort of chip into it and then I was able to scrape off the um, the red out of that. Um, now, I don't think I'm going to bother getting the nail varnished remover to try and get rid of these little, um, these little sort of lines you can see going down it. As when it's painted over, you won't really, um, you won't really see it. But you can see I've left the silver on there um yeah so i'm gonna go paint that now and then you guys will see the result as you guys can see i've put a piece of sun tip straight down the middle as evenly as i could um just to make sure that i get as straight as possible so now it's time for the paint so the badge is now painted as you can see the italian flag um the only problem i had was with the green was that when i was painting with the white it, the brush went underneath the green so now i've got a massive you know blob of bloody white um so I'm going to have to redo this at some point. You can see the tape peeled all the green up really nastily. Whereas the red will turn out fine. But the, the red and the green are two different um, different types of paint. Uh, tape uh, paint brands even. So I'm definitely going to have to redo this again. Um, I just painted the whole back of it white. But you can see how horrible the green was to, um, to paint with. Whereas everything else turned out fine. Um, looks a bit of a mess really. But... It's better than the horrible flaky red that um, was on the car anyway. Um, so I'll redo these at some point properly um, with probably spray paints. So yeah, time to go put it on. Right, so I've super glued it on um, back onto the car. I've just got some masking tape holding it on just to make sure that it sets. Um, I'm really annoyed about having that little blotchy bit there, but I'll redo them at some point as I said. Um, also, some of you guys are probably wondering uh, if you've got an older style Fiat, like my Grande Pinto here, um, that have the older blue badges and not the red ones. Um, you can still separate the badges, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, so you normally have to drill a small little hole at the bottom like I did, and then I had to pry it apart and then I repainted it. Um, so it's possible to do on the older badges as well, not just the necessary new ones. So tomorrow I'll show you guys the results. Hi guys, it's the next day now. So as you can see, it's very, very frosty today. Um, I've left the masking tape on the badge overnight. Let's just try and peel it off now. As you can see, obviously that's really annoying me now. <laughs> but that's it, that's the badges complete. 
So, so yeah, it's not that hard to do, and it's probably one of the best mods you can do to a little Fiat like that. Um, very cheap, easy to do. You know, it doesn't require really hardly anything to do it. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it helped.